Welcome to episode 316 of the Two Minute Warning. Today, me and Wade are looking at whether or not Matthew Stafford could take the Indianapolis Colts to a Super Bowl. Yes, there's speculation in this because he's not even traded yet. So, anything can be said and done. But before we get into that, for you Colts fans and NFL fans in general, who is the all-time leading receiver for the Indianapolis Colts? That is our question of the day. Find out the answer at the end of the video. If you know the answer, comment it. And the first one to comment it will get their comment pin. Shout out to JDW, our number one Colts fan on Two Minute Warning. But getting into this topic, what are your thoughts on Matthew Stafford and what can he do for the Colts if he were to end up there? I think he has a lot of talent. I think he was put in a shitty situation with the Lions, who's yes. not a very good team right now. Um, but I genuinely believe that the Colts are just one quarterback away. I think Matt Stafford could be that guy. Um, I know that they have a very high cap space this year, um, so they can re-sign everybody who they need to. They've got ton they got plenty of wide receivers with Pascal, Pittman Jr., and oh, who's the other guy? Hill. Hill. T.Y. Hill. Um, they got a solid backfield between Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines. They really solidified that towards the end of the season and into the postseason. And as we saw, their defense was very dominant throughout the whole year. Um, Phillip Rivers is a very good quarterback. He can lead the team very well, but he was getting old, and you could tell in his play. Yeah. Um, Matthew Stafford had almost very similar passing yards to him. Um, with half with, the help. Yes, with Kenny Galladay pretty much. Yeah. So I think that if you give him a great supporting cast like this, I don't see many people beating them. I think they for sure beat the Titans out for the division, and I think they could make a very serious push into the into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, the Colts have pretty much everything a pocket-passing quarterback is wanting and looking for. I mean, they have a young O-line who can protect a guy, and Matt Stafford has never had it in Detroit. They have a receiving core that could use an extra piece, but Matthew Stafford would be thankful for anything at this point and the backfield is solidified. The Detroit Lions have one of the worst running games in the NFL. So if Matt Stafford had a running game back, running back to rely on in the backfield, that could definitely take the pressure off of him. When he's in Detroit, he feels like everything is on him, and it is. But with the Colts, I think you have extra protection, extra guys to throw to, and extra backfield to rely on. And that is something Matt Stafford would love to have. And really, a great thing about this team is the amount of youth they have with Jonathan Taylor being a rookie. Stephen Core is pretty young outside of T.Y. Hilton. Great experienced veteran, and then on the defensive side, they're extremely young with Darius Leonard um, being your pretty much the captain of the Colts defense. Yeah, there's some age between Xavier Rhodes. Assuming they resign him, he will be a free agent, but they do have the cap face. It might overpay him a little, but I think you need to get that captain of your corner and secondary back onto the Colts team for sure. Then, of course, you got Justin Houston and DeForest Buckner. Buckner a little more. Um, I don't want to say they're old, but I mean, Justin Houston's definitely a little bit up there, but. They have experience. They might be taking up a little bit of the money, but clearly they're not taking up all of it. I think the Colts have 60-something million in cap space. I think they got top five in cap space, if I'm not mistaken. So Colts have really everything they need. They can sign Matt Stafford or trade for him, whatever it is. Even if you have to give up your first-round pick, to me it's worth it. As long as you're not giving up three first-rounders, Matt Stafford, Matthew Stafford is worth it. Like I said, this is a young team. Matthew Stafford is, in a way, young himself. 32 doesn't sound exactly young, but you got Tom Brady playing on until 43, so who to say Matt Stafford doesn't have another, another decade in him. So I think if you trade for Matt Stafford, give up your first round, whatever you need, you get him, and then you get him an extra receiver. I don't know what the what else the Colts need. I mean, the defense is locked up. The, the receiving core is locked up. Maybe if you could overpay Allen Robinson, I'm sure he'd love to have a quarterback that could throw to him. I don't think he'll go there, but anything's possible. Juju Smith, Will Fuller, Chris Godwin, the Colts have the money to sign any big name receiver they want. Back there, you don't have to pay anything for Maybe sign an extra offensive tackle if you want the best in the league. It's already pretty solid. So to me, I don't know what would stop the Colts from being this great team outside of, you know, competition. Of course, Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert's emerging. The only thing the Colts really don't have right now is you know, that run. I mean, the only thing they're waiting on is to get another season. I think they have the right coach, Frank Reich. He has Super Bowl experience and won with the Eagles as their offensive coordinator. So, to me, the upside is definitely there for the Colts, and I definitely think we will see them back in the playoffs if they get Matthew Stafford, if not make a deep Super Bowl run. I truly think Matthew Stafford has just been waiting to get on the right team. I'm very excited to see him get traded. Even if it's not to the Colts, I think he'll do great things. Yeah, I mean, his talent's really been wasted there, and I feel bad because he is a good guy, and he's he wasted the first six, seven, I don't know how ten, long, I mean, ten yeah. years of his career there, and so I'm really happy to see him go to anywhere other than there. As long as he has, as long as he has some decent help, I'm sure he will be grateful, 
it's very uncertain where he will be going at this time since it was announced recently that he's there's yeah. departing. But I think this would be a great fit for him. And <clears throat> as Jay mentioned, I really don't see what else they need. If they go, if they don't win it, it's because they're going up against Mahomes. Yeah. And it's Josh more Allen. of an outside problem than the Colts interior problem with themselves. It's just who they got to worry about and who they have to go through. Yeah, I mean Pat Mahomes is so dominant. So I would be, I would not be surprised if they did lose to them. But with that team, with how that team is stacked. With how the Colts team is stacked up, I think they could very well beat them. Yeah, I mean, and we've seen Detroit do this. They just ruined players' careers between Barry Sanders, Calvin Johnson, and even Matthew Stafford. Now, they haven't had some of the best players of all time and haven't done anything with them that really matters. So I'm really hoping Matthew Stafford can take the Colts to the next level. Both player and team are looking for a big win and a big run, and I think Matthew Stafford is the guy to do that. Yeah. Is that what you think? All right. For question of the day, the all-time leading receiver in receiving yards for the Annapolis Colts was Marvin Harrison, edging out um, Reggie Wayne by just about 200 yards. Those are Peyton Manning's two primary weapons to throw to great receivers, and Marvin Harrison takes away the win for all-time receiving yards for the Annapolis Colts. Thanks for watching, guys. Two minutes.